come back to our seats and we listen together, all creatures of our God. See it, all creatures. And all creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice with us. Silent as he 
stood of you, beaten by and scorned by you, and bowing to the Father's will, He took a crown of thorns. Oh, that rugged cross. salvation where your love poured out over me now my soul cries out hallelujah praise and honor unto me it's sent it's sent of heaven Savior this morning, amen. I don't think there's a person in here who would say they don't long for peace. We all long for peace. We all long for that something deep down inside of us, that deepest, darkest part of us, the lies that we tell ourselves. We long for peace in that. We long for peace in the world around us, especially on a week like this week where we hear the news of 
a mass shooting and hatred being shown towards a group of people. We long for contentment and peace and harmony in our families when we're struggling. We long for that fulfillment and hope. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says this, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So how in the world can we have peace? How in the world can we be freed from a life that is filled with anxiety? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Come to God first in your time of need and struggle. Rejoice and look to Christ, the one who showed compassion at the cross, the one who demonstrated his power through the resurrection. And that power, y'all, that power is in us this morning. So let's do that this morning. Let's seek first the kingdom of God. Let's look to him as we sing this beautiful hymn together. It is well.
invite the ushers if they would to come forward and take our offering this morning. If you're a guest here, we certainly don't expect you to give. We're thankful that you are here, and we hope that you come back and visit with us next week. Let's pray together. God, you are good and holy. And during the seasons of difficulty, the times where it seems like peace is so far in the distance, I pray that this morning as we've been singing these truths of the gospel that you would be encouraged and given hope this morning to recognize that you are with us. You are the giver of peace. And so, God, we claim your strength. Forgive us for the times that we fail you. We're thankful for Jesus and for the cross, the power of the resurrection, and the hope that that gives us every single day. So we rest in that this morning. It's in your son's holy and precious name we pray. Amen. You guys can be seated. Joy will be my strength. Your joy will be my strength. 